Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com. Now are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Are you ready for the Android home screen tutorial for today? Well then, weighing in at 551 hearts, I present to you multi-home. Ba-bam! Well, what can I say? This home screen is probably one of the most popular home screens of all time. And there's good reason for that. Using a multi-picture live wallpaper, as you can see, it flows seamlessly between each other showing our home, office, internet, media. Okay, great, this screen has a lot of parts to it, so I'm gonna explain each of them individually, so be patient. Starting from the very beginning, we're gonna have our Apex settings. So we're gonna go into our Apex settings, they're a bit different than usual. We want a portrait grid of 10 by nine, horizontal margin of large, vertical margin of medium, as well as taking off the show indicator. Finally, you want a high notification bar, hide shadows, and hide icon labels. You know the drill. Hide, you want to hide the dock as well, there we go. But one thing to add is our manage screens. I want there to be four screens, got it? Good, That's, we, that is our Apex launcher done. Next, we want to change our wallpaper to be these beautiful ones right here. So we're going to hold down on the home screen. We want to choose wallpapers. And we want to live, with live wallpaper and a multi-picture live wallpaper. Now all you have to do is download the, the four wallpapers provided in the link below. And then when you come to here, you'll go add individual settings. And you want to add, say if you've got two, you want to go plus two, you want to say plus three, plus four. And it'll bring up four. Remember, if you want to get rid of these, you're going to have to go into your apps and, and look for it and go clear data. Great, so next, we want to select screen one settings picture source single picture now you have to find where you save these hopefully you've copied them to your phone and you'll go quick pick I save them in multi home because that's what the screen is called and there it is so here's your four you just have to see you can tell there's a blue one at the top then it goes that one then that one and then that one in that order so you, you just so picture one you just select the first one screen two you select the second and so forth one thing you also want to take off is take off all of these Transition type, I think I left it as card. It looks pretty neat. But now there's one thing that you might want to change. If you go back into your settings, you want to go crop size ratio. You want to say foot to full screen as that might save a lot of trouble. Now you go back and you go set wallpaper and it should look just like this. Great. Next we'll be adding in the minimalist text that you see before you. Starting at the bottom, we'll tap this one and you can see that it's just this very, very simple clock. To add it, we'll hold down and go widgets. You want to scroll to minimalist text. And for that one, I used a two by one, as you can see right there. So let's go back into it. You'd go predefined layout, custom layouts, and then that'll let you select custom layout. Drag the rest into the bin and you want to add hour, 24 hour, two digits. Static text, that's a little full stop, and a minute of two digits. That is quite simple right there. The textile, I think it's Helvetica in the font family. And your color, you just want white. Size, I left as 18. And that's all there is to it. You just go, now, one thing you want to do, save this. Save this text, no matter what you do, save it. Because you'll go, okay. All you have to do is, when you add it again, you will want to go restore, and you can restore it again. So I just called it multi-home clock, and then I click restore, and then you can just do that, see for all of these. So you don't have to keep on adding and remembering settings, yeah, makes saves a lot of time. Great, now for the one at the top here, pretty much exactly the same, except we want a day of the week. Our static text is just a comma and a space. We want a day, two digits with a suffix, and then followed by static text, which is a space, and then our month text. Now something you might not know, if you go into our text style, you can go case and you want lowercase. That makes it look all fancy like that. Also you want to change the color to black, otherwise you will not see it. So yeah, if you another thing, if you want to open up a calendar instead of just opening up this every time you tap it, you want to go start another activity on tap and you'll select an activity. And as you can see, there's quite a variety to choose from. A good one is either calendar or the clock. You'll just tap it like that and you want a calendar launcher. So we go okay. So let's just see if that works. Opens up the calendar. Pretty neat, eh? Great. Now for the for the last one, which is our agenda here. We'll want to go predefined layout, custom layout. And it's simply just a static text that says agenda. Yeah, that is it. 
and you make it black and a little bit big and there we go. Great, that's our minimalist text out of the way. Now we're going to start onto these icons here. All you have to do, what I like to do here, is add in a desktop visualizer as the icons don't fit too well. So all we do is hold down and go into widgets, go desktop visualizer. Come to realize it doesn't make what doesn't matter what size you make it, you can always just resize it. And you can just, yeah, that's close enough because then for messaging it would be there and for email it would be over there. Now if you want to make it, great. Now if you want to make it a blank icon, you just go image file, quick pick, and don't worry, I'll provide a blank PNG below. Select your blank PNG as your icon and you want to go launch app application and you can choose whatever you want. You go for Gmail for the Gmail one. Remember to clear the label as well as take off touch effects. Looks a bit weird sometimes and go okay. Test that works, boom, it works. Do that for the same for all three of these. And there you have these three icons done. Next will be this one over here, which is the same as a desktop visualizer here, except that you change the application to a camera. So when you tap it, it opens up your camera, your 4.2 camera, oh yeah, great. Moving on to the office. Now for the office, you'll use simple cal over here. It's quite admin to set up. Let me resize it and show you what I've done. You want to select all your calendars, your skin. You'll select this one over here and go options, line, color. I made it transparent all the way. As well as the day text width, I made zero so it doesn't appear on the side there. As well as your alternative layouts, event date, then below it event time and event text, and then below that event location. And then we'll go for skin, and then we'll go for appearance. It goes skin tweaks, background color, you want transparent as well, so you just scroll it all the way there. Font options, you want to change all of these to black. To change something to black, you just type, it'll be white there, and you just go from there to there, and go okay. Don't forget to click apply, otherwise it won't remember it. You do that for all of these, and you want to go show today slash tomorrow, because that's also there. And yeah, you'll just go tap that again and hopefully it should look like this. Just resize it over there and there is our calendar done. The one at the bottom here, the widget called Brilliant Quotes Free is used. Great little app this. A 4x1 was used and you want the widget format to say text only. You want to take off the background. Text style was italics. Text gravity was, gra uh, was center. Text size small, remember that. Quote color black. Author name was this pretty little blue here. And then you can change whatever else you want and you'll just click save. And it's quite an easy one. See, you just need to resize it and it'll look just like that one. See, I did the same here. That is our office done. For our internet, it's quite easy. All you have to do is I use desktop visualizer, as you can see, and I just made it a blank PNG, just like the ones that you see over here. Gotta love that desktop visualizer. As you can make it nice and big, so it's quite an easy thing to tap when you're in a hurry. Finally, we have our media. Now this one was a little bit tricky because you need Uber Music and you want to install the classic skin. So let's just see if we go into our, let's go into our Uber Music, Uber Music, and you want to go Options, Settings. And you first want to go Find Skins, bring up the Play Store, and you want to download the one called Clear Widgets Uber Music Skin. Then you'll close it, go out of the settings, go back into the settings, and it would have refreshed this one, and you want to select Clear Widgets. Then you have to delete the widgets and re-add it. And then once that's done, it should look like this. As you can see, if you move it out, it is clear. Great little, I quite like Uber Music. Let's see. Yeah, it works. Now for these, don't worry, I provided these icons below by Alex T. They're pretty neat as well. They, I couldn't find the ones that were exactly the same as the ones in the original home screen, but I think they're close enough. All you have to do is basically hold down on the home screen and go shortcuts. You want to choose your apps, so say for the music one, this one little note one here, we can go back into Uber Music, so where is it, there it is, Uber Music, and you just hold down on the icon, go edit, tap the icon, say select picture, and then just find where you've copied the icons, see I copied them into my icons folder, makes things quite a bit handy, and it's called Seuss by Ya, yeah. and then you want to go white, and there's a music one somewhere here. There it is, you just go okay, go okay, and boom. See, just like that. So I did that for the same, except for this one. I just dragged all these games into one folder, as you can see, well, two games, and then just change the folder icon. 
nice and simple. Great, that is our home screen done for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. It's getting quite big now. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers. We now have over a thousand and counting. Don't remember to check out the other playlists as well as this channel is going to start growing. Thank you very much, guys.